こんないい天気なのに YouTube で時間を溶かす素敵な紳士淑女の皆様。真偽不明の PC パーツ情報を垂れ流す地獄のゴミクズチャンネルへようこそ。中国版の YouTube、ビリビリにリサオバのインタビューがありました。ライゼン、旧戦人の情報を求めて、それの布石となるストリックスヘイローの情報を漁ってたんですが、新しいリークで、リサオバがデスクトップ向けも作る、なんて書いてあったんですね。ただ、複数のリークが同じことしか書いてなかったもんで、一時情報のインタビュー動画を見たんです。結論としては、その部分の会話は、社交辞令的なものでした。まあ、それで目的は達成したんですけど、インタビュー全部見たら、むしろ他の部分の方がめっちゃ大事な情報だったんですね。リサオバがゲーマーをどう見てるか、これからどうなるのかってことを喋ってます。その部分だけ紹介するよりも、全体を日本語訳してしまった方がわかりやすかったので、前編を字幕付きでお送りします。聞き取れないところが一部あったので、そこはハテナにしておきました。コメントは自動で日本語訳できたので、非表示にせずにそのまま流しておきました。未登録の方は、面白かったらチャンネル登録お願いします。というわけで、最後まで楽しんでいってね。Is about Swiss Hello. You know, it's a very famous product now. And before that product, our understanding of AIPC was primarily、uh, about integrating an NPU into a processor. But however, with Swiss Hello, deploying language learning model like DeepSeek locally has become very easy. Even allowing for middle sized LLMs with up to 70 billion parameters to run on a personal device, that's amazing. AMD seems to be redefining the concept of AIPC. How do you see the division of labor and the application evolving between cloud side and edge side computing in the future? Yeah, so、uh, we are、uh, so proud of Strix Halo or our Ryzen AI Max. You know, we've been thinking of building this type of product for a long time. Oh, it's a long time. Yes, yes. We've always been thinking how can we build, you know, sort of the ultimate APU product.、Mm -hmm. And that really is、yeah. what、uh, Strix Halo is. And this is way before DeepSeek. Yes.、Uh, we were thinking about for gaming, for content creation. You really want to have a very big GPU integrated、yes. so you can actually、yes. uh, bring uh, many more uh, you know, uh, notebook form factor、mm -hmm. uh, to market.、Yeah. And now you can see with AI PCs,、uh, there's even、uh, more capability、yeah. of this、uh, Ryzen AI Max. Now, to your question about、uh, cloud versus client,、uh, I think we always are going to live in this hybrid world. So, for you know, large training applications and when you have to access a lot of data,、yeah. of course, you use. The cloud,、uh, but a lot of people want you know, their data、uh, really locally.、Yes. And you know, if you think about the latency requirements,、yes. and if you think about privacy, privacy. requirements,、yes. and then you know, just convenience、yes. you know, to be able to、uh, access、mm -hmm. your,、um, your AI capability yes. anywhere,、yes. um, I think that's the beauty of the, the notebook form factor, the mobile form factor. And、uh, you know, we have an incredible set of、um, you know, different platforms、yes. that are available yes. now yes. with.、Uh, With Ryzen AI. Yes, I really hope you can、uh, bring it into desktop.、Uh, yes, 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 of course. <laughs> the third question, you know, the DeepSeek in China now is very, very popular. How do you view DeepSeek and its impact on the future? Yeah,、uh, Tony, I would say DeepSeek is not just popular in China, it's actually popular globally.、Yeah. Uh, I think it's a very,、um, uh, you know, very innovative、uh, you know, model, and because of its open source nature,、mm -hmm. it is an example of why open source is so important.、Mm -hmm. And、um, you know, the idea that with limited computing resources,、yes. you can accomplish、uh, such a sophisticated model,、yeah. um, I think, surprised the world. And now,、uh, many of the innovations that were introduced in Uh, the deep seek research、mm -hmm. are being introduced across a whole set of other models.、Yeah. So,、uh, you know, super work. And、um, uh, what I like about it is、uh, it really has inspired even faster pace of innovation、mm -hmm. than、uh, before. So,、yeah. uh, lots, of, uh, lots of interesting things are happening.、Yeah. Okay. Next question is about、uh, the definition of AIPC. Regarding of the definition of AIPC, what difference do you think will be exist between the mobile device and the desktop PC? What do you see as the next major evolution in this space? Yes. Well,、um, I think when you think about mobile PCs,、uh, especially、um, when we put the NPU、yes. uh, on or you know, Ryzen AI,、uh, it's really、um, a case where you want to have the、uh, AI capability, but you also care about all of the other things in PCs. So, battery life yeah. Yeah.、Uh, and uh, you know, uh, mobile form factor so that you can take it everywhere.、Mm -hmm. 
Um, on desktop, you don't have uh, the uh, limitation of power, oh, yeah. so you can put a much larger um, uh, AI capability, yes. like a large GPU capability. Yes. And I think what you're going to see is, you know, both form factors uh -huh. are going to be very uh, important yes. for um, AI PCs going forward. Uh, and the idea is uh, more people want to run their models, um, you know, locally. Locally, yes. And so whether in notebook or desktop, mm -hmm. uh, you'll be able to do that. Next question is about, um, you know, speaking of high performance gaming PC. X3D has been a favorite among gamers in recent years. Can you um, just share some behind-the-scenes stories about their development? For example, how how the engineer come come out this idea on, for using online cache for gaming? Our engineers are uh, very creative. Yes. They're always thinking about how to push the envelope on technology. Mm -hmm. So our original X3D was actually made for server and server. Yes, server wow. data center applications. And I remember the team telling me that they wanted to do this. I said, "Are you sure?" You know, it's yeah. very complicated. Complicated yeah. technology, yes. uh, actually, uh, but the the team was very motivated, and so we we ran it, and uh, the results looked excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on PC side, um, again, this was uh, our our team was uh, very innovative and said, uh, gaming PCs, you know, how can we really uh, bring gaming PCs to the next level? And today, this is our third generation yes, of X3D. Third, yeah. Uh, and the, the performance is just fantastic. Yes. Uh, every That's generation, right. it's gotten better because yes. we learned something about the technology. And now I'm very happy to say that the uh, best gaming PCs in the world are built with our X3D yes. technology. I, I like the latest, uh, latest X3D for overclocking. I just use LM2 to uh, overclock a 9950 X3D into ah. near 7 gigahertz. And the setting bench is over 60, 60K. It's, it's a world record. That's wonderful. So That's you have a 9950X Yes, UD? yes, I, I do. Thank you. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great product. Thank you. Okay, next, let's talk about uh, the gaming GPU. The recently launched RDN4 based 9070XT has been a huge hit. Could you share some insights into its development and the story behind the launch? Yes, uh, I'm very proud of the team um, on our DNA4. Uh, yeah, right. Yes, uh, <laughs> the entire development no, team, no, no, uh, actually, because you know when we do a new architectural generation, uh, we have to decide uh, its uh, primary characteristics um, you know, many years in advance. And for our DNA4, what we really wanted to do is bring um, you know, the, the best uh, gaming uh, capability uh, to a very, uh, let's call it a you know, good price point, yes. so that we could get more gamers have access to this technology. You know, sometimes, yes, of course, sometimes you think, uh, of course, uh, you know, everyone likes a very, very high-end uh, GPU, yes. but it's not so many people yes. can uh, access it. Yes. So um, 9070 XT has been a, a fantastic success. Uh, actually, it's um, the number one selling for all of the uh, AMD Radeon generations yes. for first week sales yeah. is uh, by far 10x higher yes. than um, uh, than previous generations. And uh, we'd like to see people happy. Yeah. You know, people are very happy with yes. 9070 XT. Yes. Maybe my fans will say, oh, come on, give, give us more. Support. We are going yeah. to, yes, 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 no problem. There's a lot of, uh, we're uh, very excited about it and we're increasing the, uh, manufacturing so yes. that we can have more gamers to have access. Yes. Next question is about the semiconductor. As semiconductor manufacturing approach physical limits, the performance improvements from each new process node seems to be diminishing, while costs continue to rise. How do you see the future of CPU and GPU development? Is AMD betting on any technologies beyond traditional silicon-based chips? You know, it is true that uh, the silicon scaling is getting um, uh, more difficult. Yes. Uh, we saw this trend uh, for the last, um, you know, five plus years. Mm -hmm. um, and from AMD standpoint, we have invested in sort of next generation technologies. So, for example, our chiplet packaging chiplet. technology yes. Yes. is one example of the, uh, you know, sort of next generation innovation. Um, our uh, 3D stacking, so yes. our X3D yes. 
uh, a capability is also another example. And we're continuing to look at um, integration through packaging as well as um, you know adding uh, you know much more capability on uh, future chips. So I think silicon still has a long way to go. Yes. Uh, but we have to continue to optimize uh, not just uh, on on silicon but on package and also on system and also with software. Yeah. Yes. 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 All of those things optimized yes. together. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, you know, the gaming PC today has much more computing power than most mobile devices. But much of the power remains underutilized outside of gaming. With the rise of a local AI and the increasing demand for real-time performance, how do you see gaming PC evolve over the next generation? Can they become more intelligent into AI-driven workloads or even function as a multi-purpose, high-performance computing hub in home? What new capability might define the next wave of gaming hardware? Yeah, that's a great idea. I, look, uh, gamers have always pushed the envelope on performance, yeah. always have the best technology. And the idea that your gaming PC can now have multiple uh, uses, yes. uh, I think is you know very attractive. And so, you know, we very much want to show, you know, the GPU platform is so versatile, right? Yes doing gaming, yeah. doing AI, and uh, I think this is an opportunity uh, to do more with your PC. Uh, and the next question is about um, the rise of AI is quickly transforming education and learning. How do you think the learning methods will evolve in the future? Do you have any advice for Chinese students um, and young people on how to adapt this? Well, I think the, um, my biggest advice is use the technology uh, to make yourself uh, smarter. Uh, Use the technology. Yes, because uh, you know, think about um, AI in terms of it's your your best tutor. Yes. And uh, with the use of AI, you can learn faster. Yes. You can learn more broadly. Yes. Uh, and uh, and frankly, um, the the more you use it, mm -hmm. uh, the more um, more capability uh, you will have access to. Okay. So yes, I, I think uh, when I think about. Uh, going forward for uh, young people today, they have the, the, the best opportunity yes. uh, because they're in the middle of this new technology wave. And I believe AI is only in the very beginning stages. Mm -hmm. We're probably, you know, just maybe, you know, 18 months or two years in, months. in a two in a 10 year cycle. Oh. So we have much, much more learning to do yes. about AI. Final question is very easy. If AI PC became highly intelligent, I mean, maybe super intelligent, uh, what would you most like them to assist you with? Like writing emails or managing schedules, even can um, serving as a golf or boxing coach for you? <laughs> How about I say all of the above? Ah. <laughs> uh, the best thing about AI is if it can help me get a little bit more time. Oh, yeah. So just a little bit more time uh, to, uh, to, more productivity. to help all of us be more productive. And yeah. in my case, uh, with uh, one more hour extra, I can think uh, about the next big thing yes. that we're going to do at AMD. Yeah, yeah. thank you. That's all my questions today. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Tony. It's great to be here. So do you do this often? Oh, no. This uh, Actually, I'm the interviewer. Be interviewed. Always. Oh, but you're the, always the, being interviewed. The, this is my first time to interview uh, the CEO. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> it's a very uh, uh, special experience. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a hardware uh, enthusiast over 30 years. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, I very like to play uh, computer hardware. My first AMD CPU is K6-2-300. Wow. wow when remember. was that? And the second AMD product is AMD Durum 600 which can be unlocked by the pencil to change the CPU ratio and the overclock to 1GHz.